Hey everybody, this is Bill, and I just thought I'd uh, share a quick screencast with you about using a tool called TiddlyWiki. Uh, I've used it before in the past. It's a great uh, linear notebook, non-linear notebook, but uh, I was going to use it to show you how to use it for bookmarks. So let me uh, pause this game here, and let's go to TiddlyWiki.com. TiddlyWiki is a uh, non-linear uh, personal web notebook I, that, I, like I said, I've used in the past. But uh, this works best, this exercise, running Firefox. And then uh, it also uses a uh, plugin called TiddlyFox that allows us to do some saving. So we're going to click on the uh, link and add it to Firefox. We're going to install the uh, uh, add-on, and then it's going to force us to restart Firefox. So once we restart Firefox, we're going to go back to TiddlyWiki.com. We're going to scroll down and we're going to download an empty copy of the uh, Tiddly uh, file. We're going to save it and we're going to then pull up the uh, location where it's saved. Usually it's in your downloads folder. Um, you just right click and say uh, open containing folder. And we're going to rename this. So I'm going to call this just bookmarks for sim simple uh, uh, exercise purposes. And then we're going to uh, double click on the uh, bookmarks.html. It's going to open up the new page. And then you can see Tiddly Fox says, hey, do you want to enable Tiddly Wiki uh, file saving? So we want to definitely do that. And then so kind of to test things out, we want to just go ahead and change the title of the uh, Tiddly Wiki and say, uh, call it Bookmarks. Then we're going to save it and click the red check. And you can see that the Tiddly Wiki was saved. Now we can go ahead and uh, start adding some bookmarks. So let's add a new Tiddler. We're going to add a Google Tiddler. So we'll type in Google here. And Google's a search engine, so let's give it a search tag or tag of search and click add. And then just do an HTTP uh, link there, so HTTP uh, Google.com. And then we're going to save it. And if I click on the link, you can see it opens up a new tab, takes me right to Google.com. Cool, pretty simple, right? Next, we're going to uh, let's add a different one. Let's add something with a little bit longer link. This Booking.com one has a really long link. So I'm going to copy that and then go back over to our bookmarks, bookmarks tiddler and uh, add booking.com, uh, add travel for the tag, and then paste the link into this box. And when I click save, you can see that it's a really long, gnarly link. If I click on it, it still takes me to the correct site, but uh, it's just not fun to look at. So let's go ahead and edit that. If I click on a link for wiki text, you can see there's a markup formatting for linking. It's basically just two brackets, a pipe, and then uh, uh, ending two brackets. And there's some other external links and some other formatting that you can uh, learn about. But we're really just going to use the uh, Tiddler way of doing it. So uh, just add a two brackets at the beginning, type booking.com, then a pipe as a separator. Then go to the end of the URL and then add a double bracket then and save. And now you can see uh, it's all cleaned up. I click on booking.com and it takes me to the same place. Now let's say if we wanted to uh, manage these tags, give them some color so, so they are a little bit more interesting to look at. You can go to tools on the right hand side there, click tag manager. And then we can say uh, give search. Let's say give search a blue color and say OK. Uh, travel, we can give it a yellow color. Click on the uh, yellow square there and say OK. And now you can see that those changes have taken place in real time and they're live and active. If we wanted to, like, say, search for a bookmark, so we can uh, go to the search box and type in booking. And we'll see that we can click on title match of booking.com, click on the link, and we're taken right to the site. So hopefully this was helpful for everyone that using uh, uh, a tiddly wiki as a personal bookmark manager I know there's some online tools and uh, uh, other uh, resources that you can use but I like using this tool because uh, it allows me one place to store all my bookmarks I can store comments and it's all personal to me and I can search it and I can carry it with me just about wherever I go so uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon